very great seven learners and welcome to another fun and exciting adventure together. Welcome to our English class. This is Mamut Yap and I gotcha. During the last episode, we managed to organize information from materials viewed, determine the purpose and the intended audience of the materials viewed, evaluate the importance or truthfulness of the materials viewed, and lastly, identify the features and differentiate the different genres of materials viewed, such as a movie clip, trailer, news flash, internet-based program, documentary video, and others by examining the various examples presented. Today, we will develop your viewing skills further by exploring my very own channel, the Mut Channel. But before that, let's first answer the task I gave you the last episode. Get ready with your self-learning module, your pen and paper, and let's check our itineraries before going on under the sun. Now, your answers may vary here, depending on the programs or videos you've watched. Let's take the following as samples. On the first column, we have the genre. Second column is the sample TV or internet program. For the third column, we have the values taken from the videos. And for the fourth column, we have the real-life applications. Let's start with the first genre, News Flash. The title of the sample TV program is a news flash 24 horas news alert. With the news, DepEd will accept late enrollees until November. What are the introductory values taken from the video? Being pliant and willing to adjust because education will still continue despite the pandemic through different platforms like online and modular. And what is the application to our real life? Everyone will be adjusting to this new normal setup of education. Teachers will still provide and students will still receive the quality of education everyone deserves. And parents will play a big part in their children's continuity of learning. The next genre is the movie trailer. The sample is on vodka, beers, and regrets. What are the introductory values taken from the video? Is realizing that mental health is very important and love may not be enough to fix those wounds. All we need is healing and the option of seeking professional help. And the real life application is, people tend to lean on others to find their happiness. And if they fail, they may fall into addiction and acquire different vices. Instead, they should seek professional help in issues regarding mental health. The third genre is a documentary. The sample program is documentary Eyewitness Descarting Bata. What are the introductory values taken from the video? This documentary shows us the realities of life. We are not in the same situation and people who have nothing will do everything it takes to feed themselves and their families. And the real life application is children who come from a family who don't have anything tend to steal or do something illegal just to survive. People must do what is right, and they must not resort to these acts that are against the law. Pursuing education despite poverty is still the best option. The fourth genre is weather forecast. The sample program is weather forecast. LPA spotted east of Philippines but won't develop into a tropical depression according to Pagasa. What are the introductory values taken from the video? Keeping us aware of the possible weather phenomena we might encounter and for us to be prepared for the effects of bad weather. The real-life application is, our country has been experiencing a lot of typhoons. Being aware and being equipped with an emergency kit and useful information will help us lessen the risks, especially on human lives. And for the last genre, internet-based program. For the sample TV program or internet-based program, we have the Team Laika at YouTube channel. What are the introductory values taken from the video? 
It gives viewers knowledge on different subject areas that are really helpful for students and entrance exam takers. It also promotes love for teaching and learning. For the real-life application, this also serves as a free review account for those who can't afford to buy books or materials when preparing for exams, especially for college students. Now that you are more knowledgeable about video genres, let us explore more of them by checking out some of the programs in the Mood Channel. With the stay-at-home policy today, it is most likely that you spend a big portion of your day watching videos, movies, and other digital materials on television. But are you actually aware of the total number of viewing hours every day? Here's a guide for you to keep track of your viewing hours per day. Just take a photo of this table. At the end of each week, sum up your hours so you would know your viewing time on a weekly basis. And then complete this part. Total viewing time, total number of hours, and total number of minutes. Remember to balance everything and always make your viewing time a worthwhile and significant learning experience. Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel! Today, I'm going to feature this very first known bakery in Pasig, which was established in 1919 by Abrocio Lozada, the Dimasalang Bakery. The Dimasalang Bakery is located in Kapasigan, which was then composed of Santa Elena, San Isidro, and Wawa, also known as the Sitios by the River Edge. During those times, it was only the smell of the bread that would linger in the town folks' senses. They couldn't help but pause from their task at hand and savor the smell of our all-time favorite snack and a staple food, the pandesal. After that year, the owners offered baked goodies that were inspired by foreign bread and pastries like the croissant, and French breads, to name a few. But no matter what was offered to the Pasig folks, they still remained loyal to their ever-favorite and Pinoy staple food, the pan de sal. Dimasalang also sold other breads and pastries that hit the Pinoy's taste and love for food. Some of them were the bonete, biscocho de cana, and the diko akalain. Want to try? Mmm, yummy! A slice from the past. Good day, Philippines, and welcome to Weather My Weather, a blast of weather forecast. I'm with Yavistan, and here's the weather report at this hour. LPA is seen in Philippine east side, but won't develop into storm, according to Pagasa. A low-pressure area has formed in the eastern side of the country, but Pagasa does not expect it to intensify into a storm, as it may dissolve once it approaches the eastern landmass of Luzon. The wind circulation from the low-pressure area is moving west, quite slowly, but the chance of it disintegrating is high. As of now, the LPA doesn't have any direct effect on the country's weather systems, but cloudy skies and rains will be felt over the Bicol region and southern Luzon, while the remaining parts of Luzon will experience humid weather with occasional rain showers. That's the weather news for today. See you again later for a more updated weather forecast.
Duh, bro. Duh, bro. Not a love story. Soon on the big screen. Duh, bro. Come on. Did you enjoy the programs that you just saw on Mutia channel? I hope you enjoy them as much as I did because that's my own channel. So let's get back to business class. Based on the three videos you've just seen, what do you think are the differences among the three clips? What are their genres? Yes, go ahead. I'm listening. You're right. The first one is a travel vlog or a documentary highlighting one of Pasig's historical places, while the second one is a weather forecast. And the last video is a movie trailer about a story that is not a love story, I guess, based on the title. What is the purpose of each clip? The first clip gave the viewers information on the earliest source of staple food or the first known bakery in Pasig and how it transformed the Pinoy's love for food by offering a variety of breads and pastries. While the second clip highlighted the weather that a particular region will experience in the next couple of days. Lastly, the third clip presented a scene from an upcoming movie. This time, Get ready to watch and or look for each type of video content. Then, identify which genres they belong to. Write your answers on your paper. Number 1. Motorcycle Diaries Is it a news flash, movie trailer, documentary, weather forecast, or internet-based program? And the answer is, it's a documentary. Number two, I am ready, GMA weather. And the answer is, it's a weather forecast. Number three, amazing earth. You're right, it is a documentary. Number four, preview of Muro Ami. Correct, it's a movie trailer. Number five, Deped Commons. You're right again, it's an internet-based program. Number six, investigative programs. Correct, there are documentaries. Number seven, weather, weather long. You're right, it's a weather forecast. Number eight, Netflix. You're right again, it's an internet-based program. Number nine, Action Weather. The correct answer is, it's a weather forecast. And for the last item, breaking news. And you're right, it's a news flash. Well done class, I knew you would get a perfect score. 
Now, using the background information taken from our previous learning task, answer the following questions. Write your answers on your paper. How do we identify a news flash on television? Yes, you're right. If it interrupted the program you are currently watching, and if it needed that immediate attention from the public, that's a news flash. How about a weather forecast? I agree with you, class. If there is an anchor who is a certified weather forecaster and he has a background of a map with legends that pertain to rain, sun, cold showers, and others, and he's telling us what the weather would be in a specific area, then that is a weather forecast. What are the things that we should consider in identifying the genre of the material viewed? Yes, you're totally correct. We should consider its features, intended audience, purpose, ideas, and information presented. How does a movie trailer differ from an internet-based program? Wow, that's fantastic! A movie trailer is a short clip from a film and it differs from an internet-based program because the latter can be accessed through websites. Now, it's your time to shine, class! Let me challenge you to make a 3-minute video on how to prevent the coronavirus disease from spreading. It could be in a form of a documentary like documenting your day-to-day -day activities during the lockdown or even a news flash. Tag me in your video and please use the hashtag Hashtag Stop COVID Instructional Video and get a chance to be featured here on Dev and TV in our next episode. Be sure to be guided by the features and content of the video genres. Do you accept the challenge? I have to hear it from you. Much challenge! Great! I'll be waiting for your entries. In the upcoming couple of TV lessons, we'll explore and I'll help you use the passive and active voice meaningfully in varied contexts. All that and more only here on Deaf Ed TV. This has been Mamotia, and I definitely gotcha. See you again in our next English class. Bye! Stay safe and have faith.